What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome and this is the Holy Tone HT50. No, not the Holy Stone, the Holy Tone. And it is yet another sub 250 gram drone for less than $200. Now if you've seen the channel recently, I've reviewed a handful of these and I don't like most of them. Is this one different? Let's find out. So first of all, why am I knocking all of these sub $250, sub $250 gram drones? And the answer is the camera. The camera on a lot of these things just isn't very good. I personally think the camera is the most important part of a drone. And without a good one, you're just kind of left with shaky, strange looking footage. And one of the most important things is getting either electronic image stabilization or a gimbal. Now, does the Holy Tone have one? The answer to that is no. So you're gonna get shaky footage. And you know, maybe that's not a big deal to everybody, but I think if you're gonna spend close to 200 bucks, that's what you're looking for. Now this thing is $190 and they sent me a coupon code for 20% off. So you're getting this thing closer to $150 and that's when you might want to consider something like this. So I'm gonna pause myself here. I went back on Amazon and I looked and right now there's a $60 off coupon that plus the 20% off puts this thing a lot closer to $100 and that is when it becomes a good deal. So uh, now that coupon's not gonna be there forever. The coupon code will probably last a little bit longer, but just something to keep in mind. So let's talk about this and I'm going to reference it as a $150 drone because you can use the coupon code down below in the video description and get it for that and then it's okay. But if you're gonna spend closer to $200, I've got some recommendations for you later. I also have one for a hundred bucks that might be better suited for you. But first, let's talk about the Holy Tone HT50. Now, Holy Tone, do I mean Holy Stone? The answer to that is no. Holy Stone and Holy Tone are two different companies. Actually, they're not. They're the same company. I don't know why Holy Stone thought it would be cool to branch off. They also own DRC, and it kind of kind of breaks down like this. Holy Stone, those are the best drones. DRC, those are kind of their mid-tier drones, and Holy Tone are their less expensive, less featured drones. Listen, they didn't consult me when they named this, and actually maybe it's Holy Ton, I don't know. But either way, meh is the best way to describe this thing. It does have some nice things going for it. So let me tell you about those first, and then I'll get into the things that I really don't like. One is a brushless motor drone. That's gonna mean it's more efficient and more powerful. It has GPS, so it is pretty darn stable, which means you get returned to home as well as a handful of other intelligent flight modes. It comes with this nice shoulder bag that, you know, the drone and the remote both fit in here nicely. It folds up and it sits in right on top. Right, you close it up and you can carry it along with you. I also like that it has an SD card slot, so you're not recording just to your phone, but you can record on here, and that's gonna produce better quality for you. Now this drone does weigh less than 250 grams or 0 0.055 pounds, and that's really a big deal here in the US. That means it's not subject to remote ID and you don't have to register it. And those are two big things that are coming your way if you haven't heard about them yet uh, in September of 2023, where the remote ID that goes valid, that just means basically to fly a drone that's over 0 0.055 pounds or 250 grams, it has to have this basically digital license plate that anyone area can see. This one doesn't have it. It also doesn't need it. All right, I'm going to show you a few of the different intelligent flight modes, starting with one of the most popular, and that's the follow me. So you tap that little grid uh, above the return to home icon, and you get the little dude with a little drone. And uh, yeah, it's going to follow you. Now it's going to follow the remote. There isn't one of those optical follows or active tracks or whatever you want to call it where you know you draw a picture and then it follows that no it's going to follow the remote you have a little bit of control over it you can move it up or down you can move the gimbal a little bit but you can just see it's bouncing all over the place um and this was not like an incredibly windy day so that's what you get with the follow me now the footage is going to look a little bit better um recorded on the sd card we're looking at it right now um as it is on the screen, right? So we're looking at the app and you can see the telemetry and some of the other things that you get um, inside of the app here. 
Another flight mode that I really like to use is the orbit, right? Where it just kind of, you choose a subject and it circles around. Um, and I'm gonna show you how that works. Now there's no obstacle avoidance on this thing. So you really gotta make sure uh, you're not gonna hit anything. You hit a button and yeah, it's gonna go in a circle. Um, and again, pretty darn shaky because we don't have electronic image stabilization um, and we don't have a gimbal. And the last mode that I'm going to show you, one of my favorites is the uh, the droney, right? The drone selfie, the up and away. You kind of get yourself in frame. You click a button, it's going to go up and away. It kind of holds you in frame, um, but you really got to set that up ahead of time. Now, as far as things that I like about this drone, we've kind of concluded that section. What do I not like? And yes, I like that it's sub 250 grams, but... Also being light like this and not being super powerful, it's gonna get bounced around in the wind. That just creates some shaky footage. So if you're doing video, it's not gonna be super fantastic. Now, when it comes to video, they say this is 4K, but it's such a slow and choppy processor that I don't recommend that you record in 4K. I recommend you record in 2.7K. That's the best resolution you're gonna get out of this thing. It's gonna record at 2.7K at 25 frames a second. Again, I don't like that it's 25 and not 30, but that's what you get. Also, the camera. The camera, you know, taking pictures is okay, but you kind of have that fish eye effect. If you look at these photos here, you can see that the horizon is rounded. And you're thinking, well, you know what, Jack? This is to prove all those flat earthers wrong. Yeah, the earth is round. Well, sure, it is, but it's not that round. And if we look at this photo of Gus, my dog, on my patio, you can see my patio is round and it's not. The video on this thing is worse than the pictures. You still have that rounded fisheye horizon. Uh, plus, it's just getting bounced around uh, by the wind and it's shaky. There's no stabilization here. Now, I do have an isolation dampener, but it's not doing a whole lot of work here with this drone. Now, you're going to get 15 or 20 minutes of flight time on this, and that's okay. But I don't know that these batteries are readily available um, or at least easy to find. Maybe there's a two battery package coming out. It can do that. So what would I recommend? So for 200 bucks, I actually really like this. This is the Seafly Faith Mini. And the Seafly Faith Mini, you can see also a mini drone. So it's less than 250 grams, but it has a real three axis gimbal. That means this is actually gonna stabilize the footage. And if you look at this, it's clearly superior. This thing's about $190. Now, remember you can get the Holy Tone here for about 150 bucks. Is it worth it? Well, if you ask me, yes, it has intelligent flight modes as well. And I prefer that better camera quality. There are other options like the Contico's and the other Holy Stones, right? Remember the Holy Stone drones are gonna be better, but these drones also don't have gimbals, not gonna recommend them. If you want a step up from the Seafly even, that's when you go with the DJI Mini 2 SE. This thing is fantastic, rock solid, great user interface, great intelligent flight modes, and the camera, fantastic, I would say, Basic professional stuff can be done with this, real estate photography, things like that. No, I'm not taking this on a Hollywood movie shoot, but it's pretty darn good. And this guy here is gonna cost you about 340 bucks. So yes, definitely more expensive. Now it isn't the best mini drone you can get. Right now that's the Mini 3 Pro, but this thing, six, $700. This thing, obstacle avoidance, great camera, but getting a little bit pricey. So what if you want to spend less money? Well, I really like this guy, the Rise Tello. This one has brushless motors. It has a shorter range, but it's a great beginner drone. In fact, I teach a class up at the high school and we have a set of these. You can learn how to code with them. They're super stable and they even have a little bit of image stabilization. So another option, it's about a hundred bucks. Sometimes I've seen these things for like 90. So what do you think? Uh, $150 for the Holy Tone HT50? Well, that's for you to decide. I personally would spend a little bit more, get something a little bit nicer, but, but you do what you want with your money and make the right decision. If you have questions, leave them for me down below and I'll see if I can answer them. Otherwise, I'd love to hear what you would recommend for about $150. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Good luck everyone and happy flying.